Okay, so moment of truth. Our banana trees have put out flowers, which we can eat regardless. And little baby banana hands are wreck. So I asked my banana friend who I got our trees from, um, how much green the trees need to sustain and ripen those little bracts of bananas. And she said, six green leaves. So I thought this would be a fun reveal. Like when people do their baby reveals, this is like our baby banana. Like I didn't know the answer before I came out here. Do we have enough green leaves to sustain these fruits? Look how beautiful these flowers and little bananas are. But unfortunately, because I'm looking at you guys with you guys in real time, I'm not seeing a ton of green leaf action here to produce chlorophyll to ripen these babies. Because this looks a little green here. Um, so you can see some green next to this big, beautiful flower. But not much. So I think we're going to have to cut down those racks to, um, like this tree has some new, this plant has some new growth coming up since our frost. But um, that one doesn't have a banana rack. So I think if we cut down these plants, cut back the plants at least, cut down the dry leaves, we can cook up the flour. Enjoy that at least. And let the kids play with all the little baby bananas. I don't know if the lighting's right that you can see these because the sun is right in my face. But um, <laughs> this is my disappointing baby banana reveal. We're very excited that our plants were able to produce. We have lots of new plants coming in around all the time. I've already separated a bunch of pups and have them in the back. So it's not the end of our crop. I mean, ideally you'd want your bananas, I think in this part in Central Florida to come up in spring and summer, and then you don't have a threat of frost. And those baby bananas can grow, 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 grow. Um, and I came out here in real time to film with you guys my disappointment and counting how many green leaves I have. And there are barely any. So that's the banana update from here. There's some amazing plants. We still have to decide if we want to form a proper banana circle and like put the pups to make a big circle here and then we can grow other things in the banana zone. We've got some cool uh, beauty berry, so purple. A little wild edible native here. And um, the Tababua tree. And let's go see how our elder's doing. This elder we planted right at the beginning of uh, stay at home COVID. And then when we were ir setting up our irrigation, the hose just like whacked it off. And uh, I thought the whole plant was gone. But look, she's back. And we have another happy elder over there. So that's a peek at what it looks like here in the winter. It's still lovely. And our oranges are coming in too. We've got oranges. And those are our baby bananas. Can't wait to show you the next the next round of baby bananas when the tree stays green. Okay, bye everyone. How do you want to say bye? Woof woof. Bye friends. <laughs>